Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia, and this is a reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Let's see what's going on here with my Gemini. I'm not going to read any reversals. Okay. Where is my notebook? All right. We got what's going on. What's coming towards you. What you're going to do about it. And spirit's advice. Okay. And I can already see this. Jim and I pursue pleasure. I can see it. Um, I will clarify, but you're at a place right now where there are boundaries in place and you're not letting anybody cross them. All right. What's coming at you is something you may have to sacrifice, something you may have to give up in order to have a full heart. I'm feeling because I do feel like you've gone around and around and around and around and it's almost like where it stops nobody knows kind of thing but Jupiter is coming in to end this cycle okay this is you're you're ending this cycle you're like oh I'm done and spirits advice is go after what you desire seek pleasure what makes you happy, Gemini? What makes you happy? Not necessarily who or, you know, I think it's moon energy. Yeah. So, I see you going after what you desire, something you desire very much. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Whoa, that jumped right out. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You're done. You're done with the heartbreak. You're done with offers you don't want necessarily want anymore. <coughs> and I do feel like you've drawn a boundary up against quite a few people. Yeah. Right now you're just kind of this and that and that's what I'm feeling with the two of presents, two of pentacles. It's like you're kind of just going with the flow, Gemini. Whatever comes your way, you're just kind of like, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Page of pentacles coming in. Gemini, you're going to be leaving singlehood behind. You're not going to be single anymore because you've got the five of pentacles, which is being left out or, or ghosting or whatever. Nine of presence is being single and judgment. So no, we're not going to be single anymore. We've made a judgment call. Wow, that's pretty powerful. What are these cycles you're ending? What are these cycles you're ending here? You're dropping the devil energy. Yay! That means you're giving up something that was codependent or you were codependent on. I never really looked at this card before. But it's got a fish in it, Gemini. Maybe your universe revolves around a fish. Pisces. 
This is Pisces here. All right, let's see. This is also Aquarius and Taurus. You're ending the cycle of being confused about the hope that you have for marriage. You, you're coming out of some kind of confusion here. No longer confused. Know exactly what you want. It's beautiful. All right. And it's not the Three of Swords. I'm a Gemini moon, so I get it. All well, my whole life revolves around thinking. <laughs> so I get it, guys. All right. The world. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. It's so gorgeous. Wish granted. All right. That's awesome. Spirit's advice is to let that cycle close. Because once you let that cycle close, a new cycle begins. And it's the Four of Wands. This is marriage. This is somebody coming in to offer, or you offering a stable foundation for someone. This is what you desire. Like I said, you may be offering or they may be offering. I don't know. But you go straight from the Three of Swords to the King of Pentacles. So that's not a bad deal there, Gemini. Not a bad deal at all. Let's go into the regular tarot. There's Aquarius again. Could be dealing with somebody with Aquarius in their chart or an Aquarius directly. Or you could just be waking up to your Aquarian energy. Which is very spiritual, very hopeful, very powerful. Okay. <clears throat> Gemini. I think you're tired of being tempted by shiny things, okay? This is, this is temptation, somebody who takes their time. Now this is a different deck, this is the Jeffrey Scott deck. So in the Nine of Wands, in this deck, it's kind of happy. It's tired, it's wore out. Clothes are all beat up and, but you're happy. You found hope. You found hope from shiny things. See, look at that card. The devil. All right, what's this? Uh, Five of Cups. Nine of Pentacles and judgment about you falling in love. Ah, Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. King of Cups and the Five of Pen Five of Wands. So there's there's a lot of competition for your heart right now, Gemini. But you've decided to. To look at the offers. The cycle that's coming to a close is, <laughs> look at that, king and queen of swords all at once. Brand new star for this king and queen of swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, perhaps you're going towards someone who has Aquarius in their chart in their birth chart, and they are your queen or king. You might marry this person, Gemini. You might marry them. What is this desire that you have to leave behind in order to get stable, I guess? I, I don't know what that means. We'll find out. There's Pisces again. You're thinking about sending somebody a message. All around energy here is being stabbed in the back. I think enough's enough, okay? Enough's enough. So Spirit's advice is to use your intuition. Send that message, whatever it might be. Work together. 
to build this foundation that you're seeking. Okay. Let's see what the fairy's got to say. I see you building something. Princess of Spring, Six of Summer, The Chariot, and Ten of Summer. And on the bottom we have Nine of Spring. Protect the fruits of your labors. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental cons con conservation. So you may be like really into conserving the environment. I'm not saying you have to be, but um, that might be a thing that is important to you. The Princess of Spring is optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, and energetic. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your creativity take flight. Yes, indeed. Six of summer on the people who are all competing for your attention. Look at this little boy and this little girl on this car. It's so cute. He's trying to get her attention. And she's just looking out like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cute. Okay. Six of summer. Ch children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past. Remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. So yeah, I think you're letting, letting something go and letting love in. You're opening up your heart chakra here. That's why the sacrifice. Whatever it is that you're sacrificing could be your something about your childhood or your children or something in that nature. And there will be returns from people from your past, but you will remember the events differently. So remember that when this comes back around, because it's going to come back around with the world card, Spirit's telling you this, that how you remember events is going to be different from other people. They'll either be worse or better, okay? I do see more than one person involved here, okay? Okay, the chariot, or your, this is so good, the way this came out, what you're doing about it is no longer being confused, letting yourself heal and going into maybe a marriage i mean this is this is really intense the chariot success comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments and being in the spotlight so this might be coming for you gemini you might be in the spotlight very very soon i don't know in what way but you know take what resonates and leave us behind Ten of summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family and or friends, raising children wisely and people you can trust. Yeah. Nice. So all of this drama and chaos that went on in the past, and I'm not saying it's the past yet because this is what you're dealing with right now. This is what's coming at you. Could be children. Um... This is a, a cycle you're wrapping up and you may be getting married. Um, and then we have desire, go after what you want, work at it. There is a message coming in from someone. I don't know quite who it is, but you will know. There is a message coming from someone to stimulate your uh, intuition. To help you see what is truly there in front of you. Your stability, your home, your good fortune. The things that you have worked very, very hard and disciplined yourself to get. I 
and you are allowing other people to get in your way, but you only had your eye on one person the whole time. The whole time, the rest of the world was revolving and you had your eye on one person. All right, let's see what we get from the... Uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. This is a behind the scenes look, so if this hasn't happened yet, it might. And if it doesn't resonate at all, it's probably not a message for you. Oh, we got the winged wise ones. No way. The chess queen. You're done strategizing and you're done trusting. That's in reverse. It's it's like it's like a card that tells you that maybe you need to take a look at who you're trusting, especially with your emotions, because the angels are here. They're here to help you make your choice. To show you everything. Let me read this card to you, though. It's very, very nice. And this is not a challenger or a... This is always an ally. Never a challenger. The winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. When you enter their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform as if by magic. This is angelic help, miraculous aid. It says, have faith, whatever your circumstances. Heavenly beings are watching over you. The winged wise ones give you a glimpse into the future by offering messages whispered upon the wind. These are translated within you as inspired thought, instantly unraveling the past and revealing the future. Be aware of a higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe those thoughts through meditation. Who is observing those thoughts? That self is kin to the winged wise ones who have come to help you soar. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful end of that reading. I'm so excited for you, John. I. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Stay safe. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.